Still good, bud? Don't pull on the fence. Hey, okay, hold on. Stand by. You wanna go in your playpen? Come here, buddy. do it here all right here we go first before we start baby grammar say hello youtube be good i gotta do a video for them all right they want to see how i made this i know i look like an alien don't cry okay first off my desk is currently the breakfast nook area i apologize for the mess we're leaving for the smoky mountain crawl tomorrow morning shit's bonkers all right so first off let me just tell you this video is going to be specific to if you want to run a microphone to capture your Senna device and also your mode of vlogging voice. So just like I'm talking right now, let me power on the Senna. Senna. Hello. There you go. So you can Goodbye. hear. Okay, bye. There you go. So you get capture in both aspects of it. I got some technical questions on it. Down and dirty because Baby Grom is going to be crying any second. So I'm just going to show you technically how to uh, get the parts and what parts you need and how to install them to capture both your Senna device and also yourself in Motovlogging Land. Okay, Senna was so nice to sponsor the Coast to Coast ride with a couple of Momentum Light helmets. So I'm actually wearing mine. Hey guys. And this one is for Wally. So we leave tomorrow for Smoky Mountains. We're going to do the preliminary test throughout the trip in the Smoky Mountains with these helmets. So I'm gonna get this built. I need to build it anyway. All right, this is not gonna be a review on this helmet. Um, I have ridden with this guy a couple rides now. I do like it, but I need to do a few more rides before I can fully vouch for it. All right, we're not doing a review on this. What we are doing is installing the GoPro Hero 6. <coughs> the GoPro Hero 6 on this helmet and uh, just showing you what you need. So quick disclaimer and quick uh, note, everything you see here, there's gonna be links down below. Do not buy anything off your own. Click all the links down below. Some of these will not work. So if you buy the wrong one, which I have, you'll see in the Grom Day video if you haven't seen it already, no audio at all. So if you want 100%, sure it's going to work by exactly what is down below the pads on the momentum is a little crazy so you can't actually pull these off or if you can it feels like they're glued in there so i'm not going to do that but if you have pads take them all the way out uh if you're going to be doing this seriously is obviously sd cards and power so instead of uh, having battery packs that you got to change out whenever they go dead after an hour get one of these you got to get the mic adapter go pro mic adapter this guy these guys so all three of these will be needed uh, to run any type of motor vlog setup. So the reason this is going to be good is you don't have to stop to change the battery. Very important. You need this to power this and obviously you need a car to record it. So at the time of recording this, the 64 gigabyte, the one listed down below, is the one that I've found that has the least amount of errors and issues with overheating. I used to run a 128 version of this, but I read somewhere that it might not uh, work because of the capacity. Haven't proven it out yet. It might still work just for safekeeping and just for uh, full safe. I went with this guy. Microphones, very important. Uh, you got to spend some money if you want the good stuff. And that's what I did. So I bought two of them. You're going to need obviously two of them. One for... You're okay, buddy. One for yourself and then one for your uh, your earpiece for your center device. So link down below for these ones. We're going to use this for the motor vlogger, the dead cat, because it's going to get wind noise more than the one that we're going to use for the earpiece because that's going to be tucked away. So we don't really have to worry about that. All right. First thing, get your GoPro out of uh, this. So with this guy, we're going to take that off. We're going to use a curved mount. Ugh. There we go. Okay, so take this guy off here. And then instead of this long thing for this one, we're gonna use a little uh, bolt here, which is a hex uh, bolt, four on your hex bolt size. Real easy, real tight. Just don't overdo it because it is plastic still. Does this come? I think this comes with a curved mount. Let's, I buy the aftermarket ones, but when possible, I like to use the GoPro ones. I just, I don't like to risk it for the biscuit. So we're going to use this one. This is also listed down below. You need this right angle guy. If you want to mount it the same way I am, we're going to run this like that to like that. You can do use the same small one for the bottom one here. You just got to make sure you get your angle right before you actually crank it down be something like that and then for this one uh you got to use a bigger one because you got to be able to rotate it obviously from the case you're doing good bud <laughs> keep playing drums just don't cry all right battery pops in like that i'll get an sd card Let me just find one that's already used uh-huh all right sd micro sd card the uh, chip part faces forward push that guy in in 
Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's fun, huh? Now that that's in, I like to go ahead and get this guy snapped in there. That when I press down, it's uh, I'm not gonna move it. I'm not gonna push this in and try to wiggle it all. Now we just line it up. So pretty easy here. We want the visor to be able to shut without smacking this. So I'm gonna roll with right about there. Okay. So you can see there's a little bit of a ridge there. So I just kind of place it where it's the flattest. It's about right there. I've used JB Weld around this before. Um, it holds a lot better, um, especially when you start adding stuff. With the GoPro, it's not so bad. The Sony Action Cam, um, I used a little more because there's a lot more weight to this guy, and it's just weird. It has to stand out a little bit. Anyway, that's pretty good for angle. I'm not going to spend too much time with that. We'll adjust that, but there you go. For this guy, we're going to run. Uh, we're going to start with this uh, splitter here. Links down below again. Splitter goes in like that. We're going to get our USB, so I got two of them, but USB-C cable. We're just going to roll with this one. No big deal. And then this is going to go in. Oh, I forgot to take that off. Okay, let me show you that real quick. To take this side cover off, you literally just pull it off like that. Rotate this forward. See how it slides like that? And then just pop it off. And then if you need to put it back on, if it's stuck like that, just rotate this out. Slap it in. And then you can close this. Anyway. That's how you do that. So this, throw it aside. You're going to have to leave that off. That's just one of the things when you're motor vlogging. As long as you keep this connected, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, we'll tighten all that down a little bit. All right. So anyway, you got to make sure you have enough slack. So that's going to be like that. Then this little guy, what I like to do, um, you can either Velcro it here, but I prefer to zip tie it. So we'll zip tie it there. These wires are going to run back. And then I'm going to use what I always use, which is gaffer tape. So if you guys don't know what gaffer tape is, this is pretty much industry standards in like audio video. Anytime you go to a concert, they use this to tape down wires or mic wires or whatever. Um, it just comes off. It doesn't, so it doesn't leave any residue. It's not like duct tape, but it sticks really good. So it, it will hold everything in place um, and you won't worry about it when you take it apart. So anyway, I go ham with this. These two are always going to be stay, are always going to be in there. So um, you can choose to tape this uh, together just so it doesn't wiggle out or you can leave it uh, bare um, on this setup i left mine bare just in case i can just see and just make sure it doesn't wiggle out so i like to be able to just push in there i found that to be helpful so anyway we'll leave those two out like that but this little uh extra slack right here we're just gonna tape a little bit of this down kind of keep them together and you can get white gaffer tape um or you can actually uh you know get really creative with how you want to hide these but for me i'm about practicality and if it's practical uh it's for me okay here all right so tape these guys up like that okay perfect okay now we're gonna do the battery pack so the battery pack i use this guy right here it goes in like that and then i have it so you can either have it up here so I would actually give a little bit more or a little less slack right there. But what I like to use is this locking 3M tape right here. All right, take my scissors and we'll just make it about the same. There we go. Okay. And then same thing. I'll lock it on this first and then pull up the tape and just slap her in where you think it looks good Ugh. you want it as flat as possible so we'll tape this wire up a little bit or we can leave it give it a little bit more free, free play but that's the idea this is going to plug into that go into this go into that good right okay we got our two mics here we're going to take one of the mics and we're going to put our little dead kitten on it dead cat whatever it's called it's kind of a weird name for it but i guess it uh makes sense Okay, so dead cat there. This is gonna be our uh, motor vlogger mic. So what we're gonna do with this one, I'm gonna opt to choose to leave these on the outside. I like to have as little uh, obstructions in my helmet that are gonna bang against my head when I put it on. Especially with the center momentum, it's like tight when you put it on, but it feels snug once you get it on. So it's not an issue there, but uh, you can see inside here, let's put our little light on, okay. So inside here, we have where the Senna uh, earpieces are on either side. If you're running like a 30K, um, same thing. You're going to have like little indentions. Uh, just cut holes in it if you need to in your pad. 
All right, we're going to run this one uh, into the cheek pad. So right here, it's going to stick out just like that. We'll have it come through. You know, depending on your helmet, you can probably take all this out. This one is a little bit tighter. You can see there's a little gap right. Still good, bud? Don't pull on the fence. Hey, okay, hold on. Stand by. You want to go in your playpen? Come here, buddy. I know, this is weird. Whee! Here you go. Look out the window. Okay. How much is that baby in the window? Okay. This is hard to do with a helmet on, guys. All right, let me see if I can... I need a third hand. All right, I'm just going to put it in. So what I'm going to do is I want all this wire to be up there on my top of my helmet. The wire is going to come down and go right to here. And then this is just going to pop out right here to go to those connectors. So I'm going to do that real quick, and we'll be right back. Okay, so all the wires are up there. That just bit that bundle, I just stuck it up there. Then I have the uh, connector coming straight down and then out. And then I got my mic right here, which I'm just going to keep it between the buttons and then have it pop out right in the front. Put her dead kitten back on. Then this is just going to pop out like so right there eventually. So there she is popping out right there. comes out like that. All right, before we button this guy down, we're also going to use the same side since our connectors are on this side to wire the uh, mic that's going to go for the earpiece. So with the momentum, <laughs> you see this little, you see that little groove right there, that little hole where they put the wires? Check this out. This little mic, get out of the way with mic wire. Some other mic wire in the way. This little mic can fit right in there. And I leave the little uh, one that comes with a little dead kitten uh, diffuser on there. And I just push this guy down. There you go. So now the mic or the earpiece is right here. The mic's picking up the earpiece. That is going to all this. This, we're going to do the same thing. Give it a little extra slack. There we go. Leave that little twisty on there. I don't even care. Push all that through. Okay, leaving the connectors out. We got one connector out. Where'd the second one go? Second one I push back in. There's the second one. Okay, both connectors are out, right? All this stuff goes up top. Top of the helmet where, you know, you got a little bit more padding up there, depending on how much hair you have. Okay. And you can see this is tucked in there. So you're not gonna feel that when you put the helmet on. It's gonna pick up this guy right here. So. That's our one of our mics, and then the other one's running to the front. There's that guy. I'm just going to put that wire right on the other side of this guy, just like that. All that's up there, and then you can see in there, I just want it poking out. Make sure your mic is facing forward or up, just not down. And then I like forward, kind of have a 45 degree angle towards your mouth. And then just button these guys down, which I'll do here in a second. Okay. Button top one, good. And then get the bottom one. Bottom one's still button. Okay. Now we have this excess stuff right here. So we're just gonna pull this back and then re apply this guy in there. Perfect. Okay. So you can see we have it coming out like that. And then I'm gonna use my gaffer tape. There we go. I'm gonna use my gaffer tape. Tape these two guys down. So, I'll just have them pointing the right way, like that, like that, and that. Then I go one in here, it doesn't matter which one it goes into, the other one into this. Okay, maybe when you're doing this, just give yourself a little extra slack so they can kind of sit like that. Once they're like that, um, what I like to do, actually I'll do this first, I'll just tape this together. Just a quick little piece, just kind of holds in place. Same with this guy. Holding that two together. Perfect. Okay. Now we give ourselves a little extra slack there. Tape it like this. Cut this one in half. Tape these two together. Holding them in place. Okay. Blowing up here. Just like that. Boom, boom. Okay, so now we got a nice little sandwich here. We got this guy. Okay. Now we go ham on the gaffer tape so with this i just like it to be in the back so tuck a little extra in and then i want it as flush as possible 
So we'll do it something like this and then something like this. I know it doesn't look as pretty and you can obviously spend more time on it to really get it looking nice. What I go for is again, is it gonna give me audio? Yes, I don't care if it's pretty. All I want is audio. If you're a moto vlogger and you've come home after an amazing ride where you have the best topic, you're feeling all natural, everything flowed, and then you have the worst audio, it is so defeating. It just takes all the wind out of your sails. You no longer wanna make another video. So for me, priorities is this guy. Okay, so we'll tape this guy down a little bit more. Just get rid of some of this excess slack. Okay, good. Okay, all right. <laughs> so I know this is not pretty, I get it, but this is a working moto vlogger helmet just like that that's all you need to do it's not crazy you can spend more time on it if you want to but you have your little angled arm here you have some bolts instead of the big twisty some bolts there one twisty there your gopro um okay the one last thing i didn't say is i either zip tie this guy to this arm right here so i just put it like this and it's zip tied together holding it in place or i use the same 3m lock and tape and stick it there depending on how much room i have um, with this, if you use the 3M, you got to scuff it up. You can see down here, scuffed it up. Otherwise, it won't stick. So whatever you do, just put this secured somehow to the arm because that's not going to move. That shouldn't move, and you're good. And then you can get rid of some of this excess slack, which I will do. All right, one thing to note, you're going to have to tweak how loud you want your sound to be. So depending on the way you do it, if you do the momentum, that little area right there, I find it has to be louder on your earpiece just because how it's tucked in. So your ears are going to be black. You're going to be... Your ears are going to be hearing louder sound than the mic's going to be picking up, if that makes sense. But it's a give and take. You don't want it to be so loud that the rider's exhaust is overpowering your voice. So remember, it's going to be a 50-50 between the two. It's a splitter. So you have no control over which one is better. Baby good? Okay, he's good. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Wherever you put that mic, it's a 50-50. So if they're picking up a lot of noise or heavy breathing, you're going to pick it up on your mic. You're capturing everything here. This is not for the best audio quality. It's just for... The ability to capture 50 50 without having to do any post editing with bringing in audio tracks or anything like that keep that in mind so if you're running a center device and you have a very loud uh, partner or their exhaust is really loud turn them down a couple notches or turn them off completely because that will totally ruin your audio experience once you get home with that being said um let's talk about the audio with the gopro hero 6 i think it applies to the 5 but i'm not 100 sure so what happens with uh, the gopro hero um 6 at least is and i think i'm pretty sure it's for the five as well um, not so much the four the three those didn't have the issue but if you're running the external power in this little brick right here you cannot by any means use quick connect or quick capture so you can't hit this button and have it start capturing while it's off since you have a battery pack don't worry about it. this thing will last you the entire ride you got a big card so it'll last you about two hours of recording time with the 128 at about four hours of returning uh, recording time and that's continuous so don't worry about the battery carry an extra one of these and you're good to go but you won't run out of battery pack in one ride trust me with that being said what you need to do is never use the quick capture so never just press it in fact turn it off in your settings and then what you need to do is take this out start record power on start recording and then wait five seconds plug this guy in and this is every time plug this guy in wait five more seconds start talking so what's going to happen is if you unplug this it's going to capture the external audio and then when you plug this back in, it's going to recognize this device, the power device, and your internal or external mics, and it's going to capture your audio. If you start the camera with this plugged in, start recording, I've had it record zero audio at all. I've had it record just the ambient audio from this. So the only way I found, which is kind of annoying, but the only way I found 100% it works, take this out, power on, start recording, plug this guy in. Always make sure this guy is on. So you don't use your battery in here. So before you do all that, make sure you have lights and you should be good to go. All right, so I run at 60 frames per second during the day, uh, even at night, uh, 1080p, uh, and I use super wide and I do not use auto low light because at night you're gonna look like you're in sandstorm or disco. It's gonna be crazy lights and uh, don't do that. It's better to be dark than to have so much motion blur you wanna throw up. So that's it. I know it's a little bit of a crash course, a little sloppy, but you get the idea. If you have any questions that I didn't cover, feel free to ask them down below. 
I hope you enjoyed uh, my MotoVlog setup. Not the prettiest, but 100% going to work for you. So leave this guy a like if you like it. Share it with a friend if you want to. And subscribe if you want more uh, MotoVlog content. All right, guys. I will uh, see you in the next one. Baby Grommer, you're good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy down. What are we looking at? Nothing? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy down. Say bye, YouTube. Give me that star. Where's my star? Can you imagine what he's thinking right now? All right, buddy. You did good. Here's your star back. Here you go.